about energy. Uh, Russia is uh, manipulating prices and creating troubles in the energy markets around the world. So the leaders will discuss about the measures to be taken by our side. Our diplomacy will continue working with our partners <coughs> in order to face the consequences of these high prices around the world, because everybody is suffering from that. Secondly, I will inform the leaders about the last decisions taken by the Foreign Affairs Council on Ukraine, the, you know, the, the training mission, the new tranche of the peace facility, the sanctions against uh, Iran for the use of uh, drones. I've been talking this morning with the Minister, Foreign Affairs Minister of Iran to inform about uh, this decision and it shows the determination of the European Union to do everything we can with respect to everybody that could be involved in supporting the Russian aggression. I will finish here. I also want to, to praise the Ukrainian people for the Shakarov Prize and also about the deployment of our monitoring mission in the Caucasus, in the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Today, they have started the deployment of this mission. What is the next step against Iran? Let's see first, let's implement it and see what's happening. Mm -hmm. But it's a very important decision. Russia is vandalizing, is terrorizing, is putting terror on civilian infrastructure, on Ukrainian people, and we have to stop it. High representative, High representative what does Germany is becoming really a problem, really? We're trying to impose a price cap. Let's listen to the leaders. Huh? No, Thank you. Uh,